Hello grade 10 students! Again, this is Larry M. Del Rosario and yung topic na i-discuss natin ngayong araw ay yung kasunod ng topic natin last time which is all about long division. It is also under division of polynomials which is all about the synthetic division. Okay. Bago tayo mag-proceed, Sa process ng synthetic division, let us first define what is synthetic division. Okay, when we talk about synthetic division, it is a shortcut method for the division of a polynomials by a linear divisor x minus k. Okay, do not forget the linear divisor. When we talk about linear divisor, that means yung highest degree niya ay 1. Okay. So, that is x minus k. It should be in a form of x minus k. Kapag hindi, uh, you have to uh, write it in a form of x minus k before you proceed in the process of synthetic division. You have to take note that this technique works only when dividing by a linear polynomial. So, dapat yung degree ng ating divisor is only 1 or dapat linear polynomial siya. And aside from that, it is essentially a collapse version for the long division we practiced last class. Kasi, ang gagamitin lang natin in synthetic division ay lahat lang ng coefficient ng term ng ating polynomial. Lahat lang ng coefficient. That's why it is called collapse version of the long division. Okay? So, in order for you to easily understand how synthetic division goes, let's have an example. So, meron ako ditong dalawang example para maintindihan nyo kung ano nga ba yung synthetic division. Okay, so for example number one, we are asked to determine the quotient when 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 5x minus 12 is divided by x minus 3. Okay, so katulad lang din ng long division, kailangan natin siyang i-arrange in standard form. So as you notice, it is already arranged in standard form kasi we have 3, 2, 1, tapos x raised to 0, na yung kasunod ng 12. It is also arranged in standard form. Okay, aside from that, wala namang missing term. So we don't need to add zeros for the missing term. Okay, ang una natin gagawin is to find uh, our divisor. So, eh, yung, ating, yung ating divisor ay x minus 3. Since sabi ko nga sa inyo, coefficient lang yung gagamitin natin, mga numbers lang, uh, we have to observe kung yung kung meron tayong linear divisor. Obviously, it is linear divisor because it is all x minus 3. And we are going to get the value of k. Sa previous given kanina, we are looking for this one. So, ang hanapin lang natin yung k. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. In this example, since we have x minus k, the value of k is 3. Because x minus 3. So, we have 3. We are going to write that at the upper left corner of our synthetic division. Okay. Para hindi kayo malito, um, you just get the additive inverse. Actually, it is not it is not the process. You have to write it in a form of x minus k. Yung ituturo ko sa inyong additive inverse, uh, parang hack lang siya or technique in a way para mas madali nyo madetermine kung ano yung value ng inyong k. Okay? So, since it is negative 3, yung additive inverse ng negative 3 ay positive 3. Coefficients of dividend. Isusulat lang natin lahat ng coefficient ng ating ng terms ng ating dividend. So, we have ayun, 2 negative 3 negative 5 negative 12. After natin yung isulat, we're going to create a horizontal line below. Okay. The next thing, we are going to drop the first coefficient. So, ibababa natin siya sa horizontal line. Followed by, multiply natin si uh, yung sagot natin, yung dinarap natin kay 3, ilalagay natin siya sa next, sa, below the next coefficient. Then afterwards, we're going to add negative 3 and 6. And negative 3 
plus 6 is 3. The same process, we multiply this 3 by 3. So 3 times 3 is simply 9. And we are going to write that 9 here. And negative 5 plus 9 is positive 4. And 4 times 3 is 12. And negative 12 plus 12 is simply 0. Kapag 0 yung dulo, nag, wala ka ng e drop, that means tapos na yung synthetic. Pag divide mo yung synthetic division. Pero hindi pa ito yung final answer natin. Okay? Kapag 0 yung lumabas sa dulo, that means we do not have remainder. Yung final answer natin, we are going to express it in terms of x. Okay? If it is raised into 3, yung final answer natin, babawasan natin ng isang, ng isang exponent. That means, it will become 2x squared, ayan, instead of cube, 3x plus 4. Since 0 yung remainder natin, that means we do not need to add our remainder. The next example, we are going to divide x raised to 4 minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 3 by x plus 2 and write a summary statement in fraction form. Okay, sabi ko nga, uh, meron tayong missing term. That is, x raised to 4, wala tayong x cube. That means we are going to add 0 for that. So, 1 yung coefficient niya. So, we have 1. Uh, 0 yung coefficient ng cube kasi wala siya. Yung squared natin is negative 2. Yung raised to 1 natin is 3. And yung 0 natin is negative 3. Yung ating, uh, yung ating divisor is negative 2. Since the additive inverse of positive 2 is negative 2. Okay, una natin gagawin, we drop 1. We are going to multiply 1 by negative 2. So we are going to have negative 2. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. And negative 2 times negative 2 is simply positive 4. Negative 2 plus positive 4 is positive 2. And 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Okay, 3 plus negative 4 is simply negative 1. And negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 2. One. Okay, since it is raised into 4, i-raise natin yung unang term natin into 3 kasi minus 1 yung exponent. So, we have x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x minus 1 plus, okay, since may remainder tayo, we are going to have negative 1, i-over natin siya kung ano yung ating divisor and that is x plus 2. So, we have x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x minus 1 plus the remainder, negative 1 over x plus 2. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, okay, that's all for today. I hope you learned something on our discussions. Do not forget to like this video and do not forget to comment your uh, uh, your reaction towards the video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel thank you for watching